Hello and welcome to this quick little Anytime Anywhere video to show you how to embed graphics in Blackboard. And the example that I'm using is how to embed graphics in a discussion board, although you can do it anywhere you see those three rows of icons. Alright, so first of all, let's go to the Communications menu and click Discussion Board to find the discussion board. Here's the one we're going to participate in right here up top, how to embed graphics. So we're going to click on that discussion board and we're going to add our own little thread. Now the key to embedding a graphic in a thread or anywhere are these third row of icons and being able to see them. Okay. In particular, this third row of icons because that's how you can import images. See this little icon right here, the second one on that third row? It looks like a little picture, doesn't it? Well that's because when you click on that icon you can insert images. So watch. I'm going to click that little icon and up opens a window that says insert image. And I have a couple of choices. I can click this browse and browse on my computer. Or I can upload it from my content system if I'm an instructor. Or if I found the image on a specific website, like I googled it, then I could use the URL for the image. Okay, so I'm going to just browse and find an image on my desktop. Okay, I'm going to open that image. And now you see here that the path to the image now is um, given to Blackboard. Okay, You can set the width and the height of the image here to whatever you would prefer. If you leave it blank it will be whatever the default size is. Now for this launch in a new window, in this particular instance you do not want to launch it in a new window. You want it to be embedded in the window or the item that it's in. Right. You can also decide to select a border or not. You can drop the menu down the bigger the number, the fatter the border. Three, one, or two. So it's up to you as to whether or not you would like a border. I'm not going to have a border at this time. Now this alt text is here so that you can write some text on the screen here that will define this image to a screen reader for a blind student. So let's go ahead and put sample embedded image for right now. And that's what would be read out loud. Alright, at this time we're going to go ahead and click Submit. And that's going to make us get our image embedded here. We're going to have a preview screen come up in just a second. Here we go. Now I happen to have embedded a really large image, but that's okay. Here's the Submit button. So if you embed a really large image, you have to click Submit on this window. So that means you have to navigate and find that Submit button. So there's your image. And then it's just a matter of clicking Submit here. And you do have to have a name. So Sample Embedded Image. So now I'm going to Submit. And we should see the thread. There it is. There's the thread. And you'll notice right here it has a little paper clip. That means there's a file attached. So if we click on the thread and we view it, anybody else reading your post will also be able to see the image that you put in there. So you can put your text in there with the image. And you can resize the image after you've uh, placed it in there. Now as to whether or not you're allowed to edit the um, discussion board thread once it's up there, that's a preference that your instructor has to set, so I would discuss that with your instructor. So that's how you embed an image into Blackboard. Basically, it's, it has to do with whether or not you can see that third row of icons. So you could embed images when you're adding an announcement, because that's another location, 
where the third row of icons can be found. You can also put it in discussion boards as we looked at. You can also embed them in tests if you have images turned on in your tests. And you can also embed them in your content areas by embedding them in an item. Exactly the same thing. So, pictures speak a thousand words. Employ images to help you get your message across. And that's a quick little Anytime Anywhere video about how to embed graphics.